Hi there, Ollie here again from White Gates in Murfield. You join me in a really traditional three bedroom semi-detached house. Loads of these came on the market in the recent uh, recent years, but uh, I've not been in one for a while. It feels very odd. I've been in bungalows and detached and all sorts, but this is a proper three bed semi-detached house on a fantastic location, always really popular. The last one I brought on round here was an extended three bed to create the fourth bed, but this is as it was built effectively. So we've got a lovely wide entrance hall, which they typically have in these with understair storage, stairs rising to the first floor. Uh, we've got the front lounge with a half bay window, uh, sliding doors there open up into the dining room, which again have patio doors out into the rear garden, which is lovely. The kitchen's a good size, kind of breakfast kitchen size, but you could easily take that wall down between the kitchen and the dining room to create that all important open plan space. Uh, which would then incorporate the garden as well. Uh, also downstairs actually there is a little timber conservatory just cornering off behind the garage which would make a handy little utility actually uh, if you tweaked it a little bit, got some plumbing in there. Upstairs two proper double bedrooms again typical of this and a decent sized single that I'm in right now actually so yeah good sized rooms. Uh, the bathroom has still got the traditional little uh, toilet WC cubicle so a, a, a loo with a window and then a separate room with a bath and the sink in and yet again most people take that wall down, you end up with a massive uh, bathroom that you can get the freestanding shower in, etc. So it's a good property as it is, um, perfectly manageable, perfectly habitable, perfectly nice, um, but with that scope to do what you've all seen on Right Move, the, the, the ones that are more expensive than this, what they've done, uh, and gives you the ability to do it if you wish. Uh, outside, a really massive front lawn, actually unusually long, a lovely block of drive going up to that garage I mentioned, get a couple of cars on there off the road. Uh, and then to the rear, a enclosed garden, mostly lawn. I'll flip it round, we'll have a wander and I'll catch up with you at the end, speak soon. Entering the property through the front door there, typical of these types of houses, a really wide entrance hall, dead bright as well, understairs storage and a radiator there. Straight ahead to the kitchen and if we hang a right here we're into the living room. The living room has got what I call a half bay, you've got the window there and it actually curls around to the bay. Loads of light coming in here as well, lovely day today. Centrally heated radiator, gas fire. And then these sliding doors open up and open the space to this equal size second reception, which would be a dining room. Again, quite a lot of people take this wall down here to create a really massive dining kitchen, which would then go out into the garden to the rear. As it is, it's set up in its traditional way. Although it ain't a galley, it's still a good size kitchen is this one actually. Um, so we've got room for a little table Plumbing for the washing machine, space for the cooker, stainless steel sink, just a few units in here, freestanding fridge um, and the radiator again with a view over the back garden there. Uh, from here we've got probably the door you'd use the most with your shopping and whatnot straight into this conservatory which just comes around from the drive there into the conservatory here. So with your shopping and things, you probably use this entrance more often. Uh, and actually there's a rear door into the garage. We've got a nice up and over door there and a lovely modern condensing, co yeah, it's a condensing combi boiler, this one. So a good central heating system and a side facing window. Upstairs now, side facing window, getting in plenty of natural light, just from the uh, entrance hall as well there. Up, little right hander. And then we've got the two double bedrooms the rear facing room set up as something of a twin, but a good sized double, fitted storage there. And a view just overlooking the back garden. And back out on the hall and into the master. We've got a full wall of fitted wardrobes there. And again, a big double room, again with two single beds currently. 
and the view here is just over the front of that really long lawn to the front and beyond. And the third bedroom is again positioned to the front. The drive there. Uh, single room, this one. And then straight across, we've got the separate loo with the side facing window, low flush toilet and half tiled walls and the bathroom, rear facing window, pedestal wash basin and the bath shower over, tiled again. And then we've got some fitted storage there that would have had the old copper tank in it, but now it's got a uh, combi that's just storage. Okay, so there we have it. Not much more to say there. Uh, it is just like a traditional semi that we've sold loads of recently, but for some reason I've not had one on the market for a while. So lovely to be back to these. They feel really familiar. Uh, at White Gates here, if I do the viewings with you, I've sold so many of these that have done so much to them. I can tell you exactly what can be done uh, and how it'll change the space if you want to. Uh, of course, you'd be adding value as well, which is always great. Uh, wonderful property in its own right though. Great modern boiler as well. I don't know if I mentioned whilst I was going around, but yeah, good modern boiler down there. Um, but yeah, as usual, there's no onward chain with this one. Give us a call. We'd be happy to show you around. Thank you.